and NikkiHaddock.com and back to basics. Welcome back today for the next segment in our Instant Pot series. Today we're going to be doing a macaroni and cheese, a family favorite and this one looks super easy to make so I can't wait to give it a try. Just another reminder of the upcoming draw for this Instant Pot here, July 31st, 2019. Make sure you get in on the contest. The instructions for entering are on our social media pages. So with that being said, let's head over to the kitchen. So we're ready to start our mac and cheese. So we're gonna put into the Instant Pot two cups of uncooked macaroni, four cups of low sodium chicken broth, We're going to add a mixture of salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, and the measurements are in the recipe. Two tablespoons of butter, and a teaspoon of hot sauce, which just adds a little depth of flavor. So now that we have that all in there and mixed up, we're going to pop it into the Instant Pot. So our macaroni's in the Instant Pot and we're ready to seal the lid. And we're going to make sure that this is in the seal position. So now we're going to set this to pressure cook for five minutes and then we're going to quick release. Our mac and cheese has finished cooking. We've released the pressure and we've also strained off the excess liquid. So now we're going to add three quarters of a cup of milk and our cheese. So we have a cheddar and an Italiano mix. So we're just gonna add it in two to three handfuls at a time and mix it in until it's all melted and smooth. Just keep doing that until all of the cheese is incorporated. Here's our completed macaroni and cheese. Just a quick side note, I noticed when we were making this that when we strained off the excess liquid and then we added in the milk, because I added it in cold, the cheese was not melting as nicely as I wanted it to. So what I did was I put it on to saute, for just a couple of minutes, keep stirring it constantly till the cheese melted nicely. Another option would be warming that milk up prior to putting in the cheese. And that way the cheese should melt nice and uniformly. So it's turned out really nice. I can't wait to give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Give us a thumbs up, a like, hit the reminder button on your notifications so that you don't miss any future segments. As always, the recipe can be found below. Leave us any questions and we'll get back to you when we can. Thanks again and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.